and you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. I'm going to share with you my testimony in this video. So I grew up in a Christian home, conservative Christian home, politically very conservative. And I grew up going to churches, church buildings, and my parents are NIV Bible users. They use the NIV Bible. And the churches that I went to, I went to one church for several years, and there was never any hard preaching against sin. There's never any real like like um, standards of living. There's no you know, hey, don't do this, don't do that. It was kind of a lot of conformity to the world. The uh, there was a lot of immodesty. There was the Christian contemporary like rock music. So it was very very worldly. And there was no hard preaching against sin. So as a result, a lot of the members of that church were in a lot of sinful uh, ways. They were sinning a lot. And there were people that were fornicating. There were all kinds of problems. And uh, there were kind of these little sects within the church. And there were kind of like little groups within the church. It was a very, very unbiblical type of setting. And uh, I was actually excluded from a lot of the activities that some of the church members were doing. So... Uh, I went to that church for about several years, and it was the NIV using church. They um, used the NIV, which you know obviously explains the watered down uh, preaching they had. It was mostly about uh, you know being saved and serving. It was never like any hard preaching against sin, never any you know uh, live for God that kind of stuff. It was just about you know you're saved, you know just serve the church, it's that kind of stuff. And uh, obviously, I, I don't believe that the church buildings are at all at are at all biblical speech problems right there but so I went to another church uh that was around when I was in grade seven I was about was like I grew up going to public school too which only kind of added to the stuff because public school is very very worldly uh I was subject to a lot of the type of sinful worldly type of stuff very secular stuff in public school so I went to public school and when I was in grade seven I was about I think I was about 13 years old I think it was 12 or 13 uh it was either grade six or grade seven either one of those two years I think it was grade seven don't remember exactly um, I was about 13 years old, and we left the other church I was going to, and went to a new church. And it, same thing, it was NIV, the contemporary music, you know, uh, there there was uh, more preaching against sin, there was like harder preaching against sin, but there was still a lot of worldliness, still a lot of, you know, immodesty, that kind of stuff. And uh, that kind of led me into, basically, when I was in grade 8, I got into, I was into neo-Nazism, I got into white supremacy, got into... Uh, all kinds of like like authoritarian type of like fascist stuff um, and when I was into Nazism I had this really really deep hatred for Jews and I, I hated Jews I hated um, all kind I hate everything about Jews I was just um, basically a full-on Nazi essentially so I was a Nazi throughout, throughout grade 8 and uh, public schooling obviously didn't help because uh, I was subject to a lot of leftist, you know, secular type of stuff, so it kind of pushed me more towards Nazism, which, you know, uh, led to a lot of bad pro led to a lot of problems. I got in trouble one time because I used some slurs in, in the uh, during recess, so there there was problems. And then when I was in grade nine, I started high school. And the reason why I go to public school is because my parents were not able to homeschool me for just various reasons. Uh, I even asked if they could homeschool me. We tried that, and it just, you know. They just were not just capable of homeschooling. They were just not able to, you know, all kinds of problems there. But, you know, no no, no shame on them. They just, they, they were just not able to, just problems there. But I went to uh, high school and I started grade nine and I was kind of getting away from, from Nazism, but I was kind of becoming more like left wing type of liberal. And then when I was in grade nine, I became an atheist. I, I started, I just denied God. I, I hated I started to hate on Christianity. I started to hate the Bible. I remember I took the Bible one time and I just threw it across the room. I spat on it one time. Uh, I just was very, very hateful towards the Bible. And this is probably most likely due to the atheist type of indoctrination they have in the public school. So I was an atheist for from grade 9 from when I was about 14. Then when I was 15, 
I uh, came across a preacher named Steven Anderson. He's a false prophet, a uh, very, very wicked man, but I was duped by him because he was preaching a lot of sound biblical truth that you know got me away from atheism, and I started believing in God again. However, I was duped by the whole thing of easy believism, you know, all that, all that kind of heretical nonsense. So I was following Steven Anderson, and I was back to being very anti-Semitic. I was back to um, just kind of the neo-Nazi type of stuff, although... Anderson claims he's not a Nazi, but a whole other issue. So I was back into that kind of stuff. And uh, throughout grade 9, up until grade 10, you know, throughout grade 10, I was just a very, very, I was getting in trouble at school all the time. I was just all kinds of stuff. And part of this was because I was I was duped into easy easy believism. I was taught just, just believe. No repentance, no none of that stuff, just believe. And as a result, I would have an open display of holiness, but deep down inside, I was, I was sinning. I, I, I had no conviction of my sin. I just had a false assurance of my salvation. So I, I was doing things in secret that are very, very wicked. So throughout grade 10, I was a follower of Stephen Anderson. Uh, throughout the grade, when I was, it was summer holidays when I was, you know, finishing grade 10, starting grade 11, I was about, I'd say probably about 16 years old. I was about 16 years old. And I was, you know, still following Stephen Anderson. And then when I started grade 11, I started listening to a preacher named Brian Dellinger, and I thought, oh, he's just a nut because you know he because Anderson you know attacks Brian Dellinger and, and you know so I just believe, I blindly followed Anderson so I started going after Brian Dellinger I made stuff against him, but secretly uh, I was listening to him because he was teaching a lot of sound biblical truth and I really did feel something about him you know something like like a spiritual feeling about him that Anderson did not have and that I really felt like a Holy Spirit within Brian Dellinger. So I was listening to Brian Dillinger, and then basically throughout grade, when I was 16, I turned 17 years old, and I was kind of living a double life, because I would uh, hang out with the Anderson crowd, but I would secretly listen to people that Anderson condemned, so I was living kind of a double life. Um, when I was, uh, I think it was 17, about, about May, or either, either April, March, or May of 2019, I, I officially left the new IFB system, and I was just kind of on my own. Uh, I was still listening to Brian Dellinger, um, still a false convert, still believing in easy believism. I left, I left the new IFB, and uh, throughout that, I began listening to Brian Dellinger, and I kind of just tried to convince myself that I was saved. So throughout the summer holidays of when I was in, I think it was uh, grade, it was either grade 11 or grade, yeah, it was grade 11, sorry, I'm kind of blanking out for a second, I just, I, I got confused for a second, but yeah, it was grade, the end of grade 11, that was sort of confusing with grade 10, sorry about that, but it was grade 11, and over the summer holidays, and I was just, I kind of went on just an anti-Brian Dillinger type of crusade, because I just, I, I was trying to convince myself I was saved, because I kept doubting my salvation, because again, I was still duped by the whole easy believism thing, so, and, and, and also keep in mind that I was still hiding sins, I was still like doing very wicked stuff behind, basically like in secret, because I was duped by easy believism, and I had, I, I tried to, you know, saying, oh, you know, I tried to justify it, so, basically, uh, I started grade 12, and again, I'm still going to public school, because my parents, are, they're not able to homeschool me, so I started grade 12, and I was still just on this anti-Brian Dillinger crusade, and that kind of stuff, and I was with the likes of Edward Fenninger, and, and other satanic heretics like that, and I was in all kinds of sin and wickedness, I was, I was, all kinds of problems. I was very, very wicked. And uh, when I was in, I think it was December or like early January, um, I realized I was false this whole time. I, I just, because before I was just kind of denying, because I had a feeling, you know, I'm false, I'm false. I just tried to deny it. And, you know, I'm not false. Because uh, I was letting my pride to get the better of me. And it, finally, I just, I was just like, you know, I'm false this whole time. I need to get saved. So I uh, listened to a salvation message. And I came to God as a broken sinner. I'm just like, God, you know, I've been false this whole time. I've just been, I've been playing Christian. I'm not truly saved. You know, I'm just a, I'm a dirty, rotten piece of filth that, that didn't, that deserves hell. That's what it comes down to. I'm just a dirty, rotten piece of filth that deserves hell. And, you know, Jesus Christ, you died on the cross for me. Please save me. I called upon God. I called upon the name of the Lord. And after that, uh, I just like, well, uh, I, I had some fellowship with the brethren, and we're just like, well, we're, we're going to wait and see. And I noticed that after I got saved, you know, all glory goes to God. After I got saved, I noticed that, that I was having conviction of my sin. So I was noticing stuff that I did not have 
when I was a false convert into easy believism. I had a conviction of my sin. I, I felt I had an easier time getting away from sin because the Holy Spirit was helping me get away from this stuff. And, you know, there were times where I, I would, you know, I would give into the lust of the flesh, but I find that with the help of the Holy Spirit, my life has really changed since then. I've, I've gotten away from atheism. I got away from neo-Nazism. I got away from all that kind of stuff. And, you know, I really felt like a new creature. And the Holy Spirit just really came in. And I just, I had fellowship with the brethren. I just really, really good fellowship. And gradually, sins I had, I had a, I started getting out of my life. I had, a, you know, lusting problems. I had all kinds, of, I had laziness problems. And I also had a problem with video game addiction too. And gradually that stuff went away. And all glory goes to God. He helped me get, he helped get me away from the sins I was struggling with when I was a false convert. I was, again, video game addiction, lusting, you know, I'll admit I do still have sin that I struggle with, but all glory goes to God. He's going to, you know, he changes my life. Jesus changed my life when I got saved. That simple. So I got away from sin and I had an easier time. I, I, I had fellowship with the spirit with other brethren and really the changed life. So, and that was what, that was what I was missing with the Anderson cult with the easy believism was that there was no changed life. It's just, you believe and, and God's like forced to save you. There's no conviction of sin, which is why I was like hiding sin. I was living a double life. So ever since God truly saved me, ever since I just came to the end of my pride and, you know, I'm, I'm a dirty piece of filth that, that doesn't deserve salvation, but you know, God, you're, you're graceful and, you know, in your grace, you sent your son to go die on the cross for me and you purchased me with your own blood, you know, please save me. So, God changed me. He, I'm a new creature now. And again, all glory goes to God. And I'm trying, not trying to brag or anything. All glory goes to God. Because he's the author of my salvation. He's the author of my faith. And ever since then, I've had a, I, I've been wanting to serve God. I, I've just been wanting to, you know, uh, please him. And I've been wanting to be, get right with him. All this stuff. All this, uh, I've been wanting to basically serve the spirit. Serve the uh, spiritual stuff. I'm, I'm wanting to walk according to the spirit, not according to the flesh. I wanted to th focus on things above, not things on the earth. So I really had a, a change since I was a false convert and living a double life and all kinds of stuff, being a hypocrite, just full of pride. You know, uh, praise God. I'm not, that's not, that's those, those dirty sins I've got, they're gone. All that. So I do apologize if I'm kind of stuttering. It is not scripted. I don't have any notes. Motorcycle went by. Um, so yeah, not, just not scripted. Just going over my life experiences. So, you know, I, I've got truly born again. I've never looked back. I don't want, you know, I don't want the old life anymore. I, I want that new life. I just, you know, just, you guys with the old life, there's no fulfillment there. There's no, uh, fulfillment. It's just dead just spiritually and physically dead. When you say, Oh, you have no life. It's true. You have no life. You're spiritually dead. And all glory goes to God. He saved me and he saved the dirty dog like I am. So uh, that's my testimony. So yeah, I'm a ex Nazi, ex easy believism and ex atheist and ex false convert. So, yep, yeah, thank you for watching. God bless you all. Goodbye.